This is the third video in my series on the English language titled, What are these words coming out of my mouth? And I don't like to talk that much, so I'm getting tired of making these videos. But anyway, I'm going to try to get through these quick. I got one more series, one more video to make in this series. So on this one, I want to talk about the three different ways, well, basically syllables. Yeah, but before I do that, I'm going to talk about, I want to, there, there are three different ways that the brain stores information about words, about language. There's the visual, which is the way the words are spelled with their letters. And then there's the audio, how the words sound. And dang it, I don't forgot the other one. I forgot the other one, and I don't feel like going to go look it up. So anyway, we can just talk about them too, because I don't want to talk about the other one anyway. Um, I say that to say because it seems kind of trippy when you have words that sound the same, but they spell differently and they mean different things. I'm going to give one example and then I'm going to go to my next point because like I said, I'm getting tired of talking. Um, peace and peace. P-I-E-C-E -E and P-E-A-C-E. -E. So words have power. And why this matters to me is a lot of people say they want world peace, right? And uh, I've been following the dude Vesuvius. 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 Anyway, he talked about this too, but you know, words have power, and if we putting out that we want world peace out into the universe, you know, who's to say, let's just say it could be translated to say peace as in the way we want it, or it could be translated to say we want world that's a peace, that's a part, because basically that's what a peace is, P-I-E-C-E. -E. Then look at the way we do this, you know, that's two. That's two pieces. That's two parts. You know what I'm saying? You know, a lot of things don't make sense, and that's one of them. And uh, I've been trying to, to change saying world peace to world harmony, but when you look at that, there's a word harm inside of that word. So, you know, what the fuck? I wanted to talk about, I wanted to talk about how the subconscious mind works and how these two different spellings are these, and these two different words that mean the same thing can play tricks on the subconscious mind, but I don't have that fresh in my memory. It's been a while since I studied that, so I'll leave that part out. Now, this next thing that tripped me out about syllables, well, here's the next thing that tripped me out about syllables, right? Let's look at the word condition and the word tradition. Our first condition. Condition has three syllables. The first one is con, which is a prefix. The second is di, which is the root of the word, and shan, which is the suffix. Now this tripped me out when I first realized it, when I first realized that the root of this word is only two, two letters. D and I. Condition is a word where when we say it, we view it as one whole word. But when you break it down to its root, you like, I said to myself, what the fuck does this really mean? So I had to go to my handy dandy notebook, no, my dictionary, <laughs> and uh, look up what was, what, was, what was the root of this word. And D or die, or whatever, the root of it is the same as the root of dictate, which is basically to say something. I'm still confused about what the word condition means. Because if you take the prefix con, which is with, and shun, which is 
the state of something, you get with saying or the state of with saying. I'm not an English major and shit don't make no sense to me. Okay, this brings a close to my third video in my series. Um, if you have any other um, words, phrases that kind of trip you out in the head, please leave a comment for me. And uh, love and harmony to all the, the, the inhabitants of the world, of this planet.